everyone. So we've been very busy in the past few weeks doing a few classes with People's Association and now so happy to be back with you all from Commune Kitchen. Welcome to Commune Kitchen in my home this time. We are making poached fish in lime and garlic. It's called Pla Kapong. New Manao in Thai. Now I've got rubber fillets which I'm going to show you. I gave you several options to use today. You could have bought any white fish. I've got about 600 grams of fillet. In Thai restaurants, they use whole fish most of the time. It's Asian sea bass or baramundi. I'm using fillets because it's just way easier to cook them and you don't have to dig through bones. But if you do like serving the fish whole, you totally can. So get ready with some garlic first. I've got about six cloves of garlic with me. I am going to start popping them. See how easily the peel comes off. If you've got your fish sitting in your fridge, take it out now because you want it not so cold. Do you need to marinate the fish in a bun? No, there is absolutely no need to do anything to the fish. It needs to be poached directly as it is. Just make sure it's been cleaned, that's all. Peel my ginger and I will do so using a small spoon. For the ginger, you could chop it fine or you could slice it like I am. I have got some chili padi here. Depending on how hot you want your dish, I actually like to put three or four. If you want it less hot, just put two or three pieces and that's good enough. I'm just going to chop this roughly as well. Make sure you don't touch the seeds because the seeds have a chemical called capsaicin in them. You touch them and your hands are going to burn, your fingers are going to burn for the rest of the day three stalks of spring onion that are already washed. I'm going to get rid of the root. I will chop spring onion into bulbs and leaves separately. These here are lime leaves. These are really very easily available everywhere in Singapore. And when you buy them, they're usually sold in big trays and you always end up with hundreds of them. Don't throw them away. Take what you want, rinse the rest with cold water, dry them in your salad spinner, and then you can bag them up and put them away in your freezer. I'll show you how. This is a whole bag from last week. And when you want to use them, you just pull them out. There's no need to wash them because they're already pre-washed and ready to use. And these are good in the freezer for the next three months. Lemongrass stalks, I've got three stalks. And this is the part, the white part that you're gonna use. I am going to cut the top off. I don't need the leaves. I just need this part here. Now there's no need to throw these away. What you can do is bash them with a pestle. You can put them in hot water and make lemongrass tea with them with a little bit of honey. Let's move on to the broccoli now. 450 grams of broccoli right here. I am going to start cutting it into small florets. So small florets. I'll show you how to use the stalk as well. Get rid of the bottom, the root, and then start peeling the stalk. You can either use this in stock, make cream of broccoli soup with it, or you could use it in here. So I am going to cut this in half, and then half again, and just cut it up. I've got four cloves of garlic here, and we are going to chop them finely this time for the broccoli. I've got a lemon here. Now, if you were able to find lime, by all means use that. Traditionally, Thai lime is used, but we're gonna be using lemon because I couldn't find lime. We'll be using chicken stock for both dishes today. I need about two cups of stock for the fish dish and about three quarters of a cup for the broccoli. Usually, I make my own chicken stock with chicken bones in 500 ml tubs in my freezer. I didn't have any today, so I actually used chicken cubes. I used about a cube and a half. Let's make the sauce quickly for the broccoli. Shall see cooking wine. We'll be adding this to the broccoli later on. This is dark soy sauce, a teaspoon light soy sauce, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, sesame oil. I need half a teaspoon of sesame oil. Oops. Brown white pepper. I'll put a dash of that. Rice vinegar, a teaspoon and a half. If you haven't got rice vinegar, you can replace it with some lemon juice. My sugar right here. Half a teaspoon. Give it a good mix. Make sure the sugar dissolves. I am adding my chicken stock now, which is right here. 
Chopra is going to be my stir fry sauce for broccoli. Apart from this, you also need a tablespoon of cornstarch or corn flour mixed with a couple of tablespoons of water. This is my cornstarch slurry and this will be used later on for the broccoli as well to thicken the sauce that we made. I'm going to be using my cast iron wok, which I got from Chinatown. And this is the best investment I've ever made. It was only $15 always make sure you heat up your pan or your wok first and then add your oil because then your chances of disintegrating the oil are lower. A lot of people add the oil first and then they start heating it up and you know I find if you use an oil with a lower boiling point it starts to smoke. I'm using coconut oil again because it's got a higher smoking point than olive oil. I use olive oil a lot more than I do coconut oil but whenever I'm doing wok cooking it's always always smoking oil. Just about a tablespoon tablespoon or two. I've got my garlic in there, my ginger, your lemon broth, green onion bulbs and the chili. Increase the heat again, bring it to a boil. One more thing which is not traditional in this dish is stir fry. If you want to give your stock a beautiful yellow hue, you can actually a little bit of turmeric at this point. If you've got turmeric at home, just put a pinch. Let it come to a boil. Fish is starting to change color. Lion leaves right here, which I am going to tear with my hands. Now that it's come back to a boil, I'm going to put the lid on. Reduce the heat now and let this poach for about 10 minutes. It really depends on the thickness of your fish. Mine is quite thick, so I'm going to give it a good 10 minutes to poach. But if your slices of fish are thinner, you may need 7 to 8 minutes. If they are thicker, then about 12 minutes. If you're using a whole fish, it will take longer than fish fillet. Depending on the thickness of the fish, they can take up to 15 to 17 minutes. Just going to roll my lemon. This will ensure it gets nice and juicy. Use half of my lemon first. If I need more, I'll take another quarter. If you've got a lime, use a whole lime. If you haven't made rice already, please go ahead and make some steamed rice. I'm just going to gently poke it with a paring knife. The thickest part of the fish, if it shows no resistance, it actually does have a little bit of resistance there. So I'll just leave it in there for another two minutes and then I'll finish it off. Can we use yes. corn or sotong instead of fish for this dish? I don't see why not. I, I actually prefer crab. I have done this dish with crab and it's amazing. You can do it with prawns, yes, but prawns is not my first choice when it comes to this sauce. This sauce is actually nicer with big, big and chunky pieces like fish or crab. I really like prawn, go for it, why not? Depending on the saltiness of your chicken stock, you need to decide how much fish sauce you want to add to your dish. A lot of times when you buy commercially available chicken stock, it already has salt in it, so make sure you don't add too much of this stuff. So I'm going to start with two tablespoons first. Use the handle of your wok to do this. Why do you prefer uh, not to use a spoon to mix the seasoning? It's because I don't want to break my fish apart. It's very delicate. It's white fish and I don't want to be violent with it, which is why. So I'm just going to increase the heat slightly before I add my seasonings. I'm going to add a teaspoon of sugar for sweetness. I'm going to take it off the heat and put my lemon juice or your lime juice. The reason why we do this is because when you cook lime juice, it turns bitter, which is why we always, always take it off the heat. That's ready. Taste it and add things to it as per your own taste buds. You can add more sugar if you want it more sweet. If you like it more sour, by all means, add more lime juice or lemon juice. If you want it more salty, use more fish sauce. And if you want it more spicy, add more chili powder. Finally, my garnish of spring onion leaves. All done. If you're not gonna eat it now, let it cool down and put it away in the fridge until you're ready to eat it. You can use frozen fish. Just make sure you've thawed it in the refrigerator overnight and it's at room temperature before you put it into your sauce. Because when you put really cold fish or really cold meat on a pan, what happens is you're inducing shock, which means it's gonna lose a lot of its juice. It's gonna turn out dry. <coughs> My heat is on high. 
This is done already. It's starting to brown. You're going to get your shasti wine. Take about a tablespoon of the stuff. Make sure your heat is on very high. And I'm going to pour it along the terrace and then give it a stir. We have talked about this last time as well. This will give your vegetable, your broccoli, wok hay, which means the breath of the wok. Goes in. Give it a stir. Reduce the heat and cover this for a few minutes. <laughs> Give it about four to five minutes for the broccoli to cook a little bit. Someone's asking, why do we need to add vinegar? You add vinegar because vinegar is acid. And acid actually brings out the flavor in food, which is why in a lot of Chinese food, they often add rice vinegar. <laughs> yeah, looks done. I'm going to increase the heat again to medium. So our broccoli is done already. You could put this in a plate right now and put some toasted sesame for extra flavor. If we use a bamboo steamer for anything, uh, like for steaming, would it make a difference? Bamboo steamer has a lot of flavor. If you ever decide to do this with whole fish, I would recommend getting one of these. Lay it with some pandan leaves at the bottom or use parchment paper and then put your whole fish in here. What I do is I open up the cavity of the fish and then I stuff it with some lemongrass. So instead of putting the lemongrass stalks that I put in the sauce today, I would stuff it inside the cavity of the fish. And if you've got some some coriander stalks, just the stalks, not the leaves, throw those in the cavity as well. And then steam your fish for as long as it takes. Whole fish is quite thick and it takes about 15 to 17 minutes to steam fully. This Chinese chili oil that you can find in supermarkets here. And I love adding this to my broccoli. It gives it a little more flavor and a little more heat. If you've got this or if you've got any kind of chili oil, just put a little bit of it on top of your broccoli before you serve it. Hiya, we're seeing some of the dishes being dished out. Well done. Well done, people. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Faya, for hosting and cooking and teaching us. Enjoy your lunch, guys, and have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.